Gravity is a pull. It always pulls down. The less something weighs, the less force it takes to overcome gravity. This paper airplane weighs only as much as a pencil. This foam glider also weighs about one pencil. The balsa wood plane is heavier, but it only weighs about two pencils. This big glider weighs about one, two, three, four, five, six pencils. But this big glider still weighs less than this non-flying toy. Flying toys are made to be as light as possible. The heavier something is, the more force it takes to overcome gravity. Gravity pulls straight down, and the balancing point should be right over the wings. If the center of gravity, or the balancing point, it's too far to the back, the airplane has an attitude pointing up and it could stall. If the center of gravity is too far forward, the airplane has a down, nose down attitude and the airplane cannot get enough lift to pull up. So the center of gravity is the balancing point. We can demonstrate center of gravity with our paper airplane. If we add a weight right where the center of gravity is, it would still fly. If we put our weight too far aft, it changes the center of gravity and the weight is pulled backwards and it uh, stalls the airplane because of the nose up attitude. If we put our weight too far forward, the plane cannot get enough lift and it goes almost straight down. Center of gravity, too far forward, nose heavy. Center of gravity, too far aft, tail heavy. Magnets made too much weight. Does not fly at all. <laughs>